three in a row over quality opponents and you move in the first place. Can you put the week in perspective? Well, it certainly can arguably be the best week of the season. You know, when you, when you start looking at games and the weeks in front of you, you know, I thought this was a huge week for us. Um, you know, playing Wilkes in Wilkes in Toronto, and then and then the home game. And Utica has had a great stretch. You know, since they've had Prust and uh, Higgins clear waivers. Uh, you know, I think they've won seven of their last ten, and even going further back, they were on a great run. So, um, but to come out with three wins, you know, real real happy. And uh, you know, hopefully now uh, with 19 games to play, we can just move forward and and try and get that division title here over the next uh, five six weeks. The last, last few games. Yeah, yeah, you know, Ellie's been, uh, you know, we, we did that rotation for uh, practically the whole season. And, uh, his January numbers coming out were, were excellent, and, uh, you know, and except for maybe that game in Providence there, and uh, where I think we gave up five, he's, he's been real stellar. And uh, tonight was a, a tough game, you know, only because it was a little bit sloppy from both sides, I thought, defensively. Uh, we. You know, we had a tough travel back from Toronto and, and, and took us a little, I thought we tired as the game went on. So we were not as crisp defensively as we want to be and they were a little bit loose as well. So uh, that usually means the goalies are really heavily uh, relied upon. So he's had a great stretch and uh, you know, it's tough when you play a lot of three and threes because you just, you know, you, you, you can't play guys too consecutively. And uh, this week was just one of those weeks where I felt, you know, we were going to go with Ellis Tuesday and if he won, was going to go back to him in Toronto, and you know he played great in Toronto. A lot more work in Toronto than he did Tuesday in Wilkes-Barre. So, just felt uh, we go back with him today. So uh, that doesn't mean Peters is out of the mix. You know he'll get some chances here. Uh, certainly next weekend we got a three and three, and um, he, you know if he can get some consistency in his game, um, you know he can win the job, the number one job back for sure. But right now uh, Ellie's hot, and we're going to ride him a little bit here. Great passing moments in this game, uh, and when it seems like when you're clicking, I mean tonight was well, there were a lot of showtime moments. Yeah, there were some real pretty goals and, and some other opportunities that uh, Bachman made some great saves, and uh, you know we got some skill set there for sure with to go along with some speed, and um, you know we put Veron up with Borky and Boyder a couple games ago, and uh, I thought they were our best line in Toronto and, and, and created some offense, got a couple goals, and then again tonight there they were pretty dynamic and. Uh, you know, obviously Gomez's line has been with Walker and Barber have been pretty consistent uh, since we put them together, and so uh, it's, it's a real good mixture, you know. And still, the line does their thing, and you know, I thought Gaisley coming back in the lineup the last two great uh, nights, uh, he was very, very good in Toronto and, and, and played a real strong game as well. And you know, Collins gives you so much consistency. So uh, we, you know, rotated the guys in that line, and I thought they were pretty effective as well. Hey, Coach, you get um, you got three different lines that, that, that put at least one one goal for you on the board tonight. You had I think it was five different guys scored. Um, is that a difference when uh, it was sloppy and a lot of things were equal? That you know you your depth really showed off tonight. Well, I think if you look at the the league in general, scoring wise, we're third in the league overall. And uh, you know Borky's obviously leading the league in scoring, but there's quite a fall off after Borky and our scoring. But from second to tenth or twelfth, it's very, very close. So uh, that tells me we have a lot of depth scoring, and certainly getting Verona back from his injury, he's got a point a game as well. And Gomer has played, you know, what 18 games or 17 games. He's got over a point a game. So you mix in the other guys that are, you know, having some pretty good seasons offensively, and that tells me we got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of depth offensively. And uh, you know, if a line gets a particular line gets shut down on one given night. You've got a couple other lines that can contribute, and uh, you know even a guy like Seal gets gets that shorty on the power uh, PK that I felt sealed the deal because we were you know I, I really wasn't crazy about our third period you know we we're loose and a four one you know guys were thinking it's it's over and uh, in my mind I was like well geez if they get one we got a new hockey game here so I thought once Seal got that breakaway goal uh, on the PK you know certainly that uh, sealed the deal for us. Another big month I was just. Pulling through some number. I mean, you guys had an opportunity for 22 points. There's a reason you're in first place, but you had a great January. And to top it off with another month, I think you got 17 out of 22 available points this month. This month. You know, what does that tell you about where this team is going? Because it's still, 
a young hockey team to a degree. Well, the goal, I think it's the job of the coaching staff to try and get your team to improve from month to month. And, uh, you know, we did the same type of thing last year. Our team just kept getting better and better each month. And um, we've, we've done the same this year with a much younger hockey team. So uh, I just said something to the guys about the January, February. I think we lost, you know, four games in regulation between the both months, which, you know, I think was something like 22 hockey games. So, um, and that gave us a chance to, you know, contend for the, for the, for the division title. Um, and much like last year, we know March is very difficult because we only play three home games. So um, we don't play a lot of hockey in March, but, you know, we only got three home games, seven road games. So it's going to be a difficult month, even though it's we should be well rested with only one, three, and three and, and, and a bunch of deuces along the way. So, um, but we just got to move forward here. And uh, it's great to know that we had a great January, great February, and players are getting better, especially for our young bucks. And... Uh, we just got to keep uh, improving and uh, keep not settle for uh, for what we've accomplished here in January, and February. Can I ask you real quick about Dan. I mean, you saw the, all three games. It just looked like tonight, like he he seems real quiet. Like as a goalie, that he's not, you know, there's not a lot of movement in him. He seems to be just so smooth and square. Can you talk about that? And is that part of the reason you just kind of? keep playing him or what you've really seen as, from a goalie perspective from him the last Well, I think certainly there's uh, he's a guy that plays with a lot of composure. Um, I think that's probably the best way to describe him. Uh, he doesn't seem to get rattled in the net. Um, you know, certainly I think you know, because of his, he's so composed, there's times where there's some rebounds that are in some areas from my the bench that I'm not liking um, and maybe prefer him to be a little bit more assertive or aggressive in either covering them up or moving them to the corner. Uh, and I think that creates at times a little bit uh, some, a little bit chaos for us defensively. Um, but there are other moments throughout the game where his composure uh, certainly helps his, his game and helps us out. So um, it's nice to see uh, that coming from him. And uh, I, I mean, you need goaltending to go. Uh, anywhere, and uh, I think you add in what our power play has been able to do since Gomez came on, and what our scoring has done with the last two months, and you, you mix in with some good goaltending, and the formula tells me we're going to win a lot of hockey games, and, and that's certainly what's happened here uh, in January and February. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.